¿Para qué coño me, me tiene confundido? Me? Yo soy de Cuba, me. yo no soy de aquí. So yeah, it's totally different, uh, different, different over there, back east. Um, you know, when, uh, when they, they first, uh, the Spanish pirates first arrived in Cabo, they ended up raiding one of the, the, the convents and they took all the nuns and they lined them up in the back and they said, hey, we're gonna rape everybody. And one of the sisters kind of stepped forward and said, well, wait a minute, you guys, you guys can't be serious, right? I mean, you can't, you're not gonna rape, you know, sister uh, Bertha, she's like 87, man. She's old and fragile. And sister Bertha, you know, tapped her on the back. She said, no, no, baby. He said all of us. Uh, you know, at the same church, man, there was this Jewish guy. He was in town from New York, and uh, he was staying over here at the the Playa Grande, and uh, he had gone to the Catholic church here, uh, and he was in confession, and he's telling the priest, like, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm 57 years old. The other day I met this 34-year-old blonde girl, and we've been, you know, having crazy mad sex this whole past week. And uh, the padre, the, the priest, the father told me, you know what, you know, you're Jewish. This is a Catholic church, man. I think you're supposed, you know, you should be at the synagogue telling this to the rabbi. And he was like, no, nah, man, I'm telling everybody. I'm telling everybody. Um, I, was really, I was really hungry earlier, you know, and I ate an orange, and it kind of made me sick, and I, I ended up just putting it back in the crayon box. I mean, it just didn't taste good at all. Uh, Back in San Jose, California, man, we, one time we, we came home and, uh, you know, they had burglarized our house, all our furniture and TV was gone. And uh, that weekend, we drove to Oakland and we went, you know, we just went to a flea market and we just bought all our stuff back. <laughs> not saying, I'm not saying Oakland, but. Oh, not saying, but not saying, but, uh, you know, getting old is kind of tough. You know, you never see, you'll never see like a six year old kid at the playground. Cause I'm like 54 and you'll never see a six-year-old kid go, oh my God, are those my marbles? Uh, uh, uh. You know, yeah, that's, that's part of getting old. Um, other part of getting old that I don't like is that, uh, you know, when, when you're young and you're 19 and your 20s, whatever, and you could be at a club, you can be looking at a girl and her friends will say, oh my God, look, that guy, he's looking at you, man, that Mexican guy, you know, hey, you know, what do you think? And uh, I do the same thing now, and those girls are like, what are you looking at, you old pervert? You know what I mean? So, it really, it's almost a crime to look at women these days. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Two things you'll never hear a married man tell his wife is like, you know what, honey, it's okay, we don't have to watch the Super Bowl. You, we can go ahead and watch Melrose Place. Uh, the other thing you never hear is like, um, you know what, honey, we don't have to do anything tonight. It's okay if we don't have sex. I just kind of wanted to cuddle tonight. That's, that's something else never hear. I'm married, uh, you know, guy tell his uh, wife. Um, you know, there was, uh, there was three guys that were, uh, we were coming, I, I was over in Vancouver, and we were coming back in a little Cessna airplane, and uh, the captain was telling us, hey, plane's kind of heavy, man. We gotta throw some stuff out. And uh, one of the guys on the plane, he was this Russian guy, and he had like cases of vodka, and he started throwing them off the plane, and he was uh, saying like, "Oh, no worry, my friend. No worry. I'm from Russia, and Russia vodka is cheap. No worries." And uh, sure enough, the captain said we need to lose a little more weight, and this uh, Puerto Rican guy, Cuban guy, started throwing out his cases of cigars and he said oh that coño man not real good man hey those cigars ain't cool man they're cheap and there was a canadian guy on board and me and this american dude and the captain said hey well we're still uh still kind of heavy so i went and i grabbed the canadian dude and i threw him out i said hey man i'm from cowboy we got our canadians there and they're fucking hell cheap and, uh, I'm not saying 